treatment of a 10.00 gram XCL2 compound with excess chlorine uh, gives 12.55 grams of XCL4. Calculate the molar mass of element X. Okay, so I think we need to start with the units that we want, and that's molar mass. So we really want to get grams of X over moles of X. Um, we may do that in separate steps. This is a tough problem, so I want to work it out, and you can watch it a few times and then try to work it out yourself. So what we're doing is we're taking XCL2. We don't, we don't know what X is. And we're going to add to it excess chlorine. Okay, so we started with 10.00 grams of XCL2. We don't know how much chlorine. It's excess, so it doesn't matter. And we end up with XCL4, and that's 12.00. 5, 5 grams. So um, if we subtract, that will tell us how much chlorine we added. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I, I can't necessarily figure out gl uh, grams of X yet, but that's what I'm going to do indirectly here. So first I'm going to figure out grams of chlorine that were added. So I'm going to take 12.55 grams XCL4 and I'm going to subtract 10.00 grams XCl2, and that gives me 2.55 grams of chlorine. Okay, now um, if I subtract the chlorine, because I know I have two chlorine atoms here, and I have two here, so if I subtract the chlorine which is Cl2 from XCl2, that will give me grams of X. Then we're going to have to figure out how to change to moles of X. So our second step is grams of X. So I'm going to take 10.00 grams of XCl2, and I'm going to subtract 2.55 grams of Cl2. That's going to give me 7.45 grams of X. All right, now I'm halfway there because I wanted grams of X. So now how am I going to figure out moles of X? Because I don't know the molar mass of X. If I did, then this wouldn't be much of a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with chlorine. I know that over here in XCL2, I've got 2.55 grams of Cl. So I'm going to start off with 2.55 grams of chlorine. Now whether it's Cl or C Cl2, um, it's still going to be the same mass. So I'm going to say that I'm going to change this to mole. So one mole of chlorine is 35.5. 4, 5 grams of chlorine. So I'm going to do it as individual atoms of chlorine. Um, if I did it as Cl2, then I would have to double this. The next step is I'm going to do my mole ratio. I know I have one mole of X for every two moles of Cl. So if I did this as Cl2, then this would have to be 70, and then this would be uh, 1 mole Cl2. But because I'm doing it as individual atoms of Cl, we change it 1 mole of Cl per gram of Cl, and our mole ratio is 1 to 2, which we get from this formula here. Okay, that's where the mole ratio comes from. And that turns out to be 0 0.0360 moles of X. So now I have uh, the grams of X and I have moles of X which I can now both plug those two into my molar mass. So step four is going to be molar mass of X. 
So I'm going to take 7.45 grams of X and I'm going to divide that by 0 0.0360 moles of X and that's going to equal 207 uh, with the three sig figs grams X per mole X. Okay, you can look on the periodic table and determine if that is actually uh, an element and you'll see that it is, you can tell me what element is X.